In the beginning, there may have existed an unimaginably compact concentration of energy and matter. According to the prevailing theory, this mass underwent a colossal outburst, what we now call the Big Bang, igniting the formation of atoms, stars, galaxies, and everything we see in the universe today. For decades, this explanation has remained the foundation of modern cosmology. Yet, recent findings and fresh perspectives are beginning to challenge this long-standing view. Some scientists now propose that the universe didn't necessarily begin with the Big Bang at all but is part of a repeating cycle, one of endless expansion and contraction. Among those who question the conventional Big Bang hypothesis is renowned theoretical physicist Brian Cox. He, like others, struggles with the idea that something could come from absolutely nothing. If nothing truly existed before the Big Bang, how did the universe originate? That paradox continues to puzzle scientists and philosophers alike. And now, data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has further stirred the debate, raising compelling questions about whether the Big Bang really marked the universe's true beginning. Let's take a journey into this cosmic mystery. Together, we'll explore the limitations of the Big Bang theory and consider what may lie beyond it. If you're passionate about understanding the cosmos and the very fabric of reality, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future explorations. The Big Bang Theory describes the early universe as a hot, dense, and rapidly expanding point in space, dating back approximately 13.8 billion years. In those first few moments, matter and energy were created, and the building blocks of stars, galaxies, and life began to emerge. Scientists estimate that everything we see today, our planet, solar system, and entire galaxy, originated from a volume smaller than a peach, with temperatures exceeding a quadrillion degrees. This model is supported by a vast array of observations, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the early universe, the abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium, and the large-scale structure of galaxies. These clues all align with the predictions of the Big Bang model. However, despite its explanatory power, the theory does not account for everything. A major shortcoming of the Big Bang theory is its inability to fully explain the first fraction of a second, the exact moment of creation. Our current physical models, including Einstein's theory of relativity and quantum field theory, break down at these extreme conditions. The result is a theoretical singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the known laws of physics no longer apply. Such a concept, while mathematically convenient, feels philosophically and physically troubling. To resolve these challenges, scientists have turned to more advanced frameworks, among them, string theory. String theory aims to unite gravity with the other fundamental forces of nature and to provide a more complete picture of the universe at very high energies. Within this framework, a revolutionary idea has emerged. The universe may not have had a unique beginning, but rather, it could be part of a cosmic cycle. This notion gave rise to the theory of a cyclic universe, a concept supported by recent developments in string theory and proposed in one form by Nobel laureate Sir Roger Penrose. According to cyclic cosmology, the universe repeatedly undergoes phases of expansion, like our current state, followed by eventual contraction. These cycles might stretch infinitely into both the past and the future. Penrose's theory draws on a fascinating mathematical observation. The distant future of the universe, characterized by cold emptiness and the near absence of matter, bears a geometric similarity to the hot, dense conditions present at the supposed beginning. Using a concept called conformal transformation, which adjusts the scale of space while preserving its shape, Penrose argues that these two seemingly opposite states are in fact equivalent. Under this transformation, the end of one universe becomes the beginning of another. In this model, as the universe ages and matter collapses into black holes, those black holes eventually evaporate, leaving behind only scattered photons in an empty void. When the universe reaches this point of maximum entropy and minimum structure, it resembles a new blank slate a cold vacuum poised to become the next Big Bang. But from this perspective, the Bang is not a beginning in the traditional sense. It is a rebirth. Even more fascinating is how this concept affects our understanding of time itself. 
At these extremes, whether in the dense early universe or the vast emptiness of its end, conventional notions of time and size lose their meaning. Events may not unfold in a linear sequence as we experience them. Instead, the transition from one cycle to another occurs outside the boundaries of time as we understand it. This brings science into deep philosophical territory. Even if Penrose's theory gains empirical support, a profound question remains. How did this cycle begin? If the universe is truly cyclical, what started the first cycle? Why does anything exist rather than nothing? Physicists have proposed several possibilities. One is that the universe has always existed in some form, that there is no true beginning or end, only infinite transformation. Another idea suggests that each cosmic cycle is influenced by subtle variations from the one before, shaped by random quantum fluctuations. These variations give rise to new universes, each slightly different from the last, perhaps explaining why our universe has the specific properties it does. Penrose even speculates that clues to past cycles might still be observable today. In particular, he suggests we might find faint patterns or anomalies in the cosmic microwave background, leftover radiation from the early universe. These could represent echoes from events in a previous universe before our own. If confirmed, such findings would radically alter our understanding of cosmology. They would suggest that the Big Bang was not a singular origin but just one event in an eternal series. Our universe would not be the only one, but merely the current one. As remarkable as this idea is, it's not the only alternative to the standard Big Bang model. Other proposals include the multiverse hypothesis, in which countless universes exist simultaneously, each with different physical laws. In this scenario, our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam. Some versions of this theory are compatible with string theory and quantum mechanics, while others remain speculative and difficult to test. Still, these theories reflect a deep shift in cosmology, from viewing the universe as a unique, one-time event to seeing it as part of a grander, ongoing structure. They challenge our assumptions and push the boundaries of what we can know. Ultimately, whether the universe began with a single explosion or is part of an eternal cycle, the journey to understand its origin continues to inspire scientists, philosophers, and thinkers across disciplines. The answers we seek may lie not only in the distant past but also in the very tools we use to observe the cosmos, from space telescopes like JWST to future experiments still on the drawing board. What do you think? Is the Big Bang the real beginning, or just one chapter in a much larger story? Could we be living in a universe with no beginning and no end? If you found this journey through Cosmic Origins thought-provoking, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Join the discussion in the comments and stay curious, because the universe still has many secrets waiting to be revealed.